Hi guys, welcome to Gentle Med. My name is Hazal. And my name is Liddy. And today's video is about how to get an A star in A level biology. Here's what we did to achieve A stars in biology. It is quite daunting at first because it is a big step from biology at GCSEs. However, just go into it with a positive mindset. If you like the subject, it will be less difficult for you to learn the new content. Organising yourself is very important in A level biology because there are so many different topics. So just make sure you have an AS folder and an A2 folder and different wallets, different plastic wallets for different topics, just so you're facilitating your life and making it easier to revise. Having dividers in your biology folder is so useful, as well as a contents page in the front of your folder that just lists all of your topics and where you can find them. It makes revision so much more easier for you and it allows you to be organised. We suggest this should be in all of your topics in separate plastic wallets and not just putting pieces of papers in your folder because it does make your folder seem really big and it might be difficult for you to carry it to school or even bring it to the library. So in order to be neat, we suggest putting a topic in a plastic wallet or distributing it into three plastic wallets. There are lots of different ways you can learn A-level biology and one good way that me and my friends used was verbal communication. For example, we would talk through different topics in the CGP revision guide and it would make difficult topics like gene expression easier to understand. Revising with friends also means that you can go to them with questions you don't understand. For example, when a teacher is not free and it just means that you're maximising your revision. Try not to neglect any gaps in your knowledge, especially when you're doing past paper questions. It's important to identify which topics you're struggling on. So one thing that I did at the beginning of year 12 was cut out every question that I got wrong in past papers and stick it onto a flashcard and make it into a question and answer kind of thing so that I could go through it. And it is a bit time consuming, but it was definitely mm -hmm. helpful when exam season came around. Something I found really useful when doing practice papers was to write everything I got wrong on the back. So it just meant that when it came to exam season and I was going through all my papers, I didn't have to open the papers individually. I could just look on the back and see what I got wrong and learn from it. Make sure you do not neglect the maths in A-level biology, especially if you do not take A-level maths because there are lots of maths marks in papers and if you decide to just skip them, it can mean that you are losing a lot of easy marks. And I do recommend getting this book if you do need help. It's called um, Essential Math Skills for A-Level Biology and it goes through all the different math questions they could ask and makes it easy to understand. Biology papers are always full of lots of different graphs and tables that they base math questions off of. So if you do struggle with them, make sure you ask your teacher for extra questions and practice them as much as you can to make sure you perfect the skills needed to get those questions right. But if you are struggling with maths, don't worry, I only understood how to do statistical tests in year 13 a few weeks before my exams. Try your best to be on top of it but don't worry too much if it's a bit difficult at first. Don't mess around with practicals. Practicals are very important if you'd like to pass your practical endorsement at the end of the year. A lot of universities require this practical endorsement especially if you'd like to take a STEM subject at university. If you are taking A-level biology, you should be aware that in paper 3 you do have a 25 marker essay in which you are given a broad topic to write about, so make sure that you do practice it. It is worth about a third of that paper, so make sure you do take it seriously. And if you guys want us to make another video on, for example, what topics you can talk about in essays and also how to structure it, make sure you leave a comment down we below. We personally had a separate book where we wrote essays and got our teachers to mark them. So do make sure that in terms of organisation, you do have a separate folder in which you're writing essays and you're getting feedback on them to make some improvements. Try apply what you're learning to everyday life. For example, when I was learning about photosynthesis in year 13, I'll just look at plants and imagine a whole process happening. It might mean that you might look a bit weird, but if it's helping you solidify that knowledge, then do what you have to do. Now we are going to tell you guys all the resources we use for A-level biology. Revision guys, revision guys, revision guys, revision guys. <laughs> Our first and most important resource is the CGP A-Level Biology Revision Guide. This book literally saved me. It summarised <laughs> every single topic very well and it just makes it easier to learn from because we were given an A-Level -Le AQA Biology textbook by our school, which will be on screen right now. However, it was just really big and I felt like the topics weren't summarised clearly. So guys, don't be afraid to get creative and annotate your books. If you bought it and you spent money on it, then do what you want with it 
I absolutely loved annotating the book, writing my little acronyms, highlighting stuff, even though they're already highlighted, <laughs> because it really helps me learn. Um, I love my book so much that I actually, it actually ended up ripping into two. <laughs> And it's just because I use it so much, not because I'm mistreated it, but because I was just always using it that it just ended up being in this state. And it's got no back cover. <laughs> it has no back cover. I mean, we both used it, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> but it was all worth it in the end. So definitely don't be afraid to be creative with your resources. Make sure you print out the biology specification. It will be your best friend. It will allow you to ensure that you're learning the right things. It will be your personal checklist and annotating it is actually very useful. I actually did find that very useful and it meant that I could actually distinguish between what my teacher was teaching me that was actually in the specification and what wasn't. I found that the best way I learned for biology was to make mind maps and flashcards. So this just meant that all my notes were summarised onto, for example, one sheet and it made it easier to learn from. If you are thinking of making mind maps for each topic in biology, make sure you do it as you learn it. Do not leave it till the end because at one point I let three topics build up and it took me so long to make all the mind maps for it. So make sure you just do it as each topic ends. So my favourite resource after the CGP um, revision guide was of course Snap Revise. So I printed out the Snap Revise notes. I brought the course guys, honestly it really got me through A-level biology. I'm trying to find a key page here, but for example, after each lesson I'll just go home, watch some Snap Revise videos and just rewrite the notes, just because in lesson you're rushing to get everything down and I feel like with Snap Revise you have your own time to watch the video, really make sure you mm. understand it, write it out neatly so that you're able to learn from it and they do also offer exam style questions at the end of each topic so you can even test yourself and mm. I just think it's so useful, it really helped me in active recall and making sure that everything was really solidified because I didn't just stop at school I would go home rewrite my notes and really make yeah. sure that all that information is in my head as know we do actually have a discount code for snap revise so make sure you to use journey to med 20 when you're on snap revise to get a 20% off each course Another useful resource was Tessamai that was provided to us by our school. It's an app that allows you to test yourself on the different topics in A-level biology. To make the most out of this resource, we decided that we were just going to do 60 questions every day and we just did it on our journey to school and it meant that every morning we spent 15-20 minutes just doing active recall for biology and it felt like I was always revising it so I was never going to forget it. If your school doesn't provide TESMI, maybe speak to some teachers about purchasing the app. It will benefit not just you, but your whole year group. With A-level biology, one of the most important things is to make sure you're always doing practice questions. So there are lots of different websites you can use to find different practice questions to do. And these include Physics and Maths Tutor, Maths Made Easy, and Save My Exam. So these websites have topic-based questions. So just have a look and try and do some for yourself. Other past papers can also be found on the exam board website. For example, on AQA, they do have past papers for A-level biology, so just also have a look at them and have a go. Make sure you take them seriously. The more questions you do with biology, the more you will realise that some questions do repeat themselves and you will start to understand how the mark scheme works. After doing so many past papers, it got to a point where you can just see a question and just envision the mark scheme in your head and that's the point you want to get you want to make sure you're including the keywords they want so make sure you do lots of past papers during exam season we actually made a checklist of different resources that we use mm -hmm. we will provide this in the description box below if you'd like to use it as a template well has that made it <laughs> well you know what's has in mind <laughs> thank you very much for watching this video guys we really hope our advice has been helpful and it will help boost your grades in a-level biology as always, make sure you like and subscribe and follow us on all our social medias. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.